Hello and welcome to ANSI's Tutor. In this video, we will see a demonstration of a two-phase flow problem in an inclined pipe. Please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to receive notifications of all new updates. Select the fluid flow fluent and drag it to the project schematic space. We would first create the geometry in ANSI's design modeler. Change the geometry units to millimeter, as it's a small 300 millimeter length pipe geometry. Select the YZ plane and click on X axis to make the sketch normal to the screen. Go to the sketching toolbox and select the line tool. Draw an inclined line, starting from the origin. Put the dimensions. Go to Details view and enter the dimension. Click on Generate to complete the sketch creation process. We would now create a new plane at the end of this line. Click on the New Plane option. In the type, select from point and normal option. Select the line endpoint as the base point. Select the line as the normal definition. Click on Generate to create the new plane. Right click on the sketch and select Always Show Sketch option. It will be seen while drawing sketches on another plane. Now select the new plane and draw a circle at the origin. Put the circle diameter. Click on Generate to complete the sketch. Now, select the Sweep tool. Select the circle as the profile and the line as the sweep path. Click on Generate to complete the geometry. Rotate the geometry and select the start face of the cylinder. Now, click on Sketching to sketch on the face. Draw a circle on the face. Put the diameter of the circle as 10 millimeters. We would now convert this circle to a line body. It would be used to split the pipe surface to create the inlet. Now, go to Concept menu and select Line from Sketches option. Click on the circle sketch and then click on Apply. Click on Generate to complete the process. Now, go to Tools menu and select Projections. Select the circle edges and click on Apply. Select the face as the target. Click on Generate to complete the projection process. You can now observe that the surface is divided into two parts. 
The inner small section would be the inlet to the pipe. You can now suppress the line body as it's no further required. You can also modify the inclination angle of the pipe after creating the geometry. If you want to parameterize the angle, you need to tick the box in the dimensions panel. To know how to set parametric input, see our tutorial which link is given in the description. Geometry is complete, now proceed for meshing. Select the pipe material type. Right click on mesh and select the meshing method. Select the geometry and click on apply. In the meshing method, select the sweep method. Select the algorithm as axisymmetric. Put the numbers of O grid divisions as 20. Right click on mesh and select generate mesh. We need to refine the outer cells. For this go to sizing, turn on the adaptive sizing option. In the resolution option, put the resolution as 5. Right click on mesh and select generate mesh. You can see, the outer cells have been divided into 5 parts. Now, put names to the boundary, using Create Name Selection option. Select the surface then right-click, select Create Name Selection. Name it as the inlet. Name it as the wall. Select the cylindrical surface and, name it as the pipe wall. Select the end face and name it as the outlet. Cross-check once all the name selections and corresponding boundary surfaces. Check the mesh statistics, if you are using an academic version software, then you need to keep the nodes and number of elements within 512,000. To know about the type of cells generated, select the mesh metrics. You can now observe the mesh type and position in the meshed cells. Click on the skewness bar diagram to see the respective cells having the same skewness.
Similarly, you can check the aspect ratio, orthogonal quality etc. of each meshed cell. Right click on mesh and select update. It will link the meshed cells with the CFD solver. Close the meshing and proceed for the solver setup. Select the double precision option, as it's a multi-phase flow problem. Select the number of processors you want to employ for the solution process. After the model gets loaded in the solver, check the mesh. Make sure that the minimum volume should not be negative. Choose the transient solver time. Turn on the gravity option and put acceleration due to gravity in the negative y direction, as per the geometry. Add the material properties of water from the Fluent Material database. Go to Models and select the Multiphase model. Select Volume of Fluid, that is VOF Homogeneous Model. Enable the Implicit Body Forces option, as the body forces, like gravity or surface tension forces, exists in this multiphase flow. Keep the default number of Eulerian phases as two, as in this problem we have two different type of fluid. Click on Apply to activate the other multiphase flow setup options. If you are using an older version, then you might get these options in the outline view below the model menu. To find more about it, see our multiphase flow tutorials links provided in the description. Put the air as the primary fluid and water as the secondary. Switch to Phase Interaction tab and put the surface tension coefficient value. Turn on the Wall Adhesion option, this will do the adjustment of the curvature of the fluid surface near the wall. In the viscous model, select the K-Omega SST turbulence model. As the K-Omega model is well suited for simulating flow in the viscous sublayer. Go to boundary conditions and arrange the boundaries as per the type. Put the velocity of the fluid at the inlet boundary. Keep the default value of turbulent intensity and viscosity ratio if you don't have these data. Switch the phase to put the volume fraction of water at the inlet boundary. Volume fraction 1 means only water is entering through the inlet. Go to Methods and select Piezo Pressure Velocity Coupling Scheme, as it's suitable for transient simulations and takes lesser computing effort. Select the second-order spatial discretization for better solution accuracy.
While doing initialization, keep the volume fraction of water as zero, so that initially the fluid domain is filled with air. Go to Calculation Activities, select the Auto Save option. By doing so, the solver will save the solution dat file for every 50 iterations. If you want to capture the flow animation, then go to Solution Animation option. Select the contour and the parameters to capture. Create a reference plane on the YZ plane, with X equals 0. Select the right plane as the animation view. Click here to enable the title visibility. Click on the run calculation in the outline. Put the number of time steps and the time step size. Click on calculate. After the solution process gets completed, save the solution and proceed for CFD post-processing. Go to Location menu and insert a new plane. Select the new plane on the YZ plane with X equals 0, and click on Apply. Insert a contour image to observe the flow on this plane. Choose the new plane as the location and water volume fraction as the variable. This is the water volume fraction contour on the reference plane. You can change the precision of values of the contour image in the default legend view settings. To save the solution animation video, click on the Animation tab and select Time Step Animation. Move the time bar to the start end so that it will go to the start time, then click on the play button to see the flow animation which occurs with respect to the time. To save the animation video, enable the Save Movie option. Select the Save Location and the Video File Format. Then click on the Play button to start the Solution Animation video recording. To obtain the other results go to Calculators tab. Choose the Function Calculator, select the function and the location where you want to see the results.
With this let's conclude this demonstration. If you like this video then hit the like button, comment below for any query or suggestion. If you are new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with your friends and colleagues if you find this video helpful. Thank you. Stay home stay safe.